When you are at the beach, you can pretty much count on seeing someone looking for seashells or someone using a metal detector to find coins. Yeah, but for this woman, her trip to the beach came with a discovery that was millions of years in the making. Mark Seagraves, who's a bit of an amateur fossil hunter himself, shows us the skull and talk to the woman who found it. Along the western shore of the Chesapeake Bay in Calvert County, Maryland, these cliffs have stood for millions of years. The cliffs and the shoreline below hold treasures left behind by nature. For generations, people have been combing these shorelines looking for fossils from the Miocene era, hoping to find a gem like this megalodon shark tooth, as many as 20 million years old. Emily Bizdick is an entomologist by training, but she's been bitten by a different bug, fossil hunting. There's definitely that treasure hunter aspect, but it's it's fascinating to learn about all these animals. Bizdick is a volunteer at the Calvert Marine Museum in Solomon's Island. On Saturday, she was combing the shores along the cliffs and spotted what looked like a bone in the shallow water. Along with other volunteers from the museum, she was able to dig out the bone, which turned out to be a 15 million year old dolphin skull. It's a really impressive find. It's a really nice dolphin skull. Stephen Groff manages the museum's fossil collection and points out it's rare to find a skull in such good condition. It could even be a new species. It's probably not, but it could be. So it's adding like another little piece to the puzzle that was Calvert County 15 million years ago. Biz Dick can't hold back the smiles as she stands over her discovery. She'll spend the next few months cleaning the silt and the clay away before it goes on public display. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. It's, it's, it's a cool feeling knowing that it's, you know, it's, it, we got it out safely and it's going to be here at the museum for, you know, science and it's a, it's a big win. Groff describes what the dolphin would have looked like 15 million years ago. They would have had a long snout. Um, the skulls can be up to like four feet long. Fossil hunters love to display their finds. My collection takes up much of my living room, including this baleen whale skull I found. But Bizdick says her skull will stay at the museum. I have a pretty large growing collection. There's not gonna be enough space in my house for something like this anyway, but I'm, I'm really happy that it'll be here and anyone can come see it. While the Chesapeake Bay, as we know it, has only been here eight to 10,000 years, these cliffs that stand above have been here for as many as 20 million years. And that's why just about everything you find out here is a treasure. Mark Seagraves with that story. Fascinating to see. I wish I had the eye to know that it wasn't a lump of sand. Right. And that it's actually something It very much just looked like a stone that right. had been... That's all I saw. ...shaped. Yeah.